TFA 1024, where your entertainment will be transformed! <laughs> Bob Weeb Grognar Weep, Ninny Bong, my fellow addicts, and a very good morning to you as well. This is TFA1024, the TF addict here, coming to you with yet another TFA review. And today we're switching things up a little bit. No flashing intros, possibly an end card maybe, because standard YouTube algorithm stuff. But uh, we're kind of taking a break from Studio Series, we're taking a break from Generations, and we're kind of dipping our toes into something relatively new. Something that a lot of people have yet to even do yet. Hopefully making me the first. This is the video review for the Transformers Cyberverse, or Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures, Battle Call, Trooper Class, Meteor Fire. Now for those of you who don't know, Meteor Fire is a character that is supposed to show up in the later portion of Season 3 of Transformers Cyberverse that is airing on YouTube as well as on Cartoon Network. Um, he's pretty much just your standard Autobot, but it, the only difference is he does a TV show with Cosmos called Alien Hunt, and he has a very heavy Cockney slash, you know, Australian accent. Um, and he's, he's a very amusing character. At first when I saw him and we didn't get a name for this guy, I thought his I thought it was Diatlas from uh, Transformers Zone. But uh, to my surprise, no, it's a brand new Autobot entirely. So, but of course, before we take a look at him, let's take a very quick look at the packaging because it is new packaging and I kind of want to talk about it. So as you can see here, you have Bumblebee, Cyberverse Adventures, you have his name, Meteor Fire, you have Battle Call with voice activated play, and I will elaborate on that a little later because it's not as great as it sounds. Um, you also have a nice picture of Meteor Fire there with his Energon armor all powered up and ready to go. On the side of the box, you actually have a good cast of the roster of the Autobots, at least three of them. On the back, you have a very nice piece of artwork of Meteor Fire. Looking very cool. Honestly, I really like him a lot. He's he's a fun character. And on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, transformation steps, his function, and more. So, there you go. That's, that's it for the packaging. Now, it'll just stay back here for the rest of the review, because that's how we do things here on the channel. Also, before I continue, a huge shout-out to TF Addict just 4891 for the brand new light box. Um, loving the red background. I don't know how well it's coming on camera. I'm trying to mess with the light and see if that helps, but I'm learning. I'm still new to this, so patience, my fellow addicts. It will happen. Anyway, Meteor Fire here transforms into a very chunky jet boy. Um, it, it, it's a thick jet. Like, <laughs> this thing does not look aerodynamic, but it does look very Cybertronian. Um, he does have a nice weight to him. Uh, he obviously does have a lot of visible robot syndrome. I mean, all you have to do is stand him up, and then there you go. There's everything you need to see. The head is just concealed in the cockpit, and that's basically it. That's the gist. So, not exactly a robot in disguise, but it does the job, I suppose. Um, I do really like the silver, though. The silver here in the cockpit is very nice, very metallic, very shiny. The nice translucent blue plastic is also very nice. You got a very nice tampographed Autobot insignia right there, dead center on the center of the nose cone. Um, the blue is very nice. The blue plastic molded in is just a nice touch. Gunmetal grays. All kinds of stuff. So, I mean, there's not really much else to say. Um, for a brief size comparison, and don't get used to this, I, I'm not going to be doing size comparisons such all the time. Uh, here he is with a Cyberverse One Step Changer World. I think they look pretty good together. Let's see how they look. There's that. Here he is with a uh, the Autobot Counter Strike. Uh, Alpha 4 or Alpha whatever it was called the Amazon siege box set with G2 sideswipe I think it was Autobot Alpha Strike counter force or something like that. So There's that And for a tease for the next video review after Dark and Moon Megatron because you guys did vote for him here. He is with leader class double dealer from Earthrise So there you go Transformation for Meteor Fire is as simple as one, two, three. Uh, the very first thing you want to do is you want to come down here underneath the wing, kind of give them a little tug, and then those will release from that peg right there. Do the same on the other side. This whole section back here is 
pegged in. So there are two ways that it pegs in. There's a peg right up here on the upper thigh, and then there's also pegs right here on the shins. You want to kind of angle it back like so, and then accordion it. Or not accordion it, but you kind of want to just let it loose, and then all this will fold up like so. And he has a lot of hinges, so get used to that. Um, and kind of go from here and do that. Fold down the feet, which are on some very nice clips. They don't really like to stay all that well. Nothing really holds them into place. You can see, kind of messy. But separate the legs. And you kind of have him doing the limbo. <laughs> um, of course, before we do finish everything, you want to come up here, unpeg the upper section of the jet, and you can see his head. And then rotate all this around while also keeping the arms out just to get clearance. Rotate the wings upward. And then peg all this in here because this square port has to go over that square port. I don't know how well it's coming on camera. Because there's also a peg right there that's going to peg in and lock all of this into place. I, I said lock all that into place. I said lock. There you go. He's very finicky, I will say that much. And then just rest the wings, straighten them out, and here is Meteor Fire in his robot mode. Now I'm going to be honest, this is the third time my phone has cut out, so hopefully this is the one. I'm going to be as brief as possible. The articulation on this guy is your standard Cyberverse re related articulation, and I mean like when the line first started, not the new deluxe stuff where it like got slightly better and it's almost like generations, like, no. I mean, he has no head articulation, he has no ankle pivots, I mean, he has built-in ankle pivots, which I think is cool. Um, the arms can only go, like, almost 180, and they can't really go back that far because of the wings. The hips can go forward pretty far, they can't go back all the way, and, and I mean, that's, that's basically it. And he has elbow and knee bend, so you're getting something, you're just not getting a lot. But be grateful, obviously. Now I'm going to dive into the something, to something that's honestly... I wanted to talk about this whole review and this is the whole gimmick for battle call i think it's a cool gimmick but i don't think it justifies a ten dollar price increase and yes that this figure this trooper class toy line is thirty dollars at retail and honestly i something about it just bothers me i know it's made for kids i'm completely aware it is made for kids and i'm fine that it's made for kids but let me demonstrate this so here we have the energon armor that meteor fire as well as all Trooper class figures come with for Transformer Cyberverse Battle Call. And everything just snaps in very satisfyingly, actually. Um, and it's just to help emulate that he's like, you know, powering up or something. So I, it, it reminds me very much of the Robots in Disguise 2015 mini cons or the mini con battle pack or the. Um, uh, there was another one where they had like this kind of thing. But you get the idea. It's it's a very similar concept to that. The only thing that's different is there's electronics. The only electronic in this, however, again, I will demonstrate this, is just a light. So there's a switch up here, where my finger is. Turn that on. And then every time you talk, the higher you go, the louder the volume, the depth of the timber that you have, that light begins to increase in vibrancy as well as in size. So when you want to have him power up and you're just having fun, you know, you're being a kid and you're like, D Decepticons are attacking, meteor fire, power up! <laughs> and then he just does that for a little bit until you can get all the stuff on properly. But that's it. That's all that this thing does. And it's like, that's fine. That's all well and good. A kid could definitely enjoy that. But for a collector, I mean, we look at that and we're like, this doesn't really... It isn't really warranted of a $30 price point. And I'm honestly on that edge. Like, I don't think this justifies a $10 price increase. I think it's fun, but I don't think it's... I don't think it helps, if it makes any sense. Um, Meteor Fire is a good figure. I, I mean, I liked his character in the show, and I think he's just a lot of fun. The robot mode looks neat. The jet mode looks really cool. There's a lot of nice molding detailing in him, and again, he has a cool voice. He's like the robotic Steve Irwin honestly he's his show is literally called like alien hunter with meteor fire and cosmos so he's he's basically robot steve Irwin. may he rest in peace so you know I, that's just my little nitpick but it's like i get it this isn't for everyone and you know what that's completely fine i'm i'm okay with that so 
it is what it is. So I'm trying to get him to stand properly on this, but for some reason he's not. So I have to stand like that. Anyway, here he is with one step change or whirl. And as you can see, they look pretty good together. Two different size classes, obviously, but that's the only whirl figure we're getting from Cyberverse. Cyberverse, so I'll take it. And there's that. Now, my overall thoughts on Meteor Fire is he's not a bad figure by all means. I mean, or by any means, rather. He's fun. I think he definitely does the job to actually give us a character of, or a figure of this character. And he's just neat. Again, he very much reminds me of Diatlas for some reason. But, you know, it could be for multitude of reasons, or it just be, could be because I'm hopeful we get a Generations or a Diatlas in a U.S. toy line in some way, shape, or form. For a kid, this is enjoyable. For a collector, it's a pick your poison type scenario. If you enjoy this type of stuff, by all means, go for it. If you don't, pick it up for your niece, your nephew, your son, your daughter, who, whatever it may be. It does not matter. I'm pretty sure a kid could have fun with the battle call thing. And it's honestly not that bad of a toy. So by all means, if you are 100% on board with this, head over to your local Target, head over to your Walmart, wherever they're selling these guys, and pick this figure up. I may not 100% enjoy him, but I like him because he's a new Transformers character, and he's obviously a very nice addition to my Cyberverse collection. So pick him up if you want to, because I recommend, so you can decide. But that's pretty much all there is to say, my fellow addicts. A huge thank you to my dad for taking me down to Target to go pick up Skylinks, and then all of a sudden finding him. And a huge thank you to every one of my patrons who have been supporting me thus far. I'm sorry I haven't been able to update on the perks and everything, but life keeps me busy, and I will do my best to do that to the best of my ability. And if, by all means, I'll refund you as well. And a huge thank you to each and every one of you guys for watching. So this has been the TFA review for the Transformers Cyberverse Battle Call Trooper Class Meteor Fire, and I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And please remember, my fellow addicts, until next time, to get addicted, stay addicted, and TF addicts for life! This is TFA 1024, the TF Addict, rolling out. Tell all our one for now.